friends, welcome on board. Wow, six months as ahead of us, but every month is going to be quite unique and it's gonna change, so we're gonna be okay. Now, I really want you to take this cleanse seriously. I want you to commit because if you don't, then you're more likely to slip up or just decide not to do the cleanse at all. You need to be able to plan ahead and also you know that cravings are gonna come up or certain things are gonna come up and ideally giving up the not so great things such as alcohol and cigarettes and things like that and I know you'll be like oh my god I can't give that up but you need to think of the bigger picture this is your health you're doing this for nowadays it's, it's just like drink as much as you can take as many drugs it's all in the now, but you don't realize that a few years down the line there can be health implications. It's very difficult to heal the body when you've damaged it so much. Now you have control. You've got control what you spend your money on and what goes into your mouth. That is also something you should take very seriously because if you don't buy certain things in the shops then they, the suppliers won't supply them, you know, as simple as that. Whatever goes in your mouth that becomes your body, that's, you know, becomes your health. You need to be quite conscious about what you put into your body. Just, <laughs> most people are just like trash bins, you know, they just put whatever in. So I hope you've got all your veggies and your fruits and all the foods that you like to eat that are healthy. Okay, so let's do a morning routine. So when you wake up in the morning, I want you to go and brush your teeth and your tongue. That is important, especially when you're doing a cleanse because there's a lot of stuff that gets accumulated on your tongue. Overnight the cilia in your throat brings everything up, like the mucus and all sorts of things, and it gets stuck on your tongue. So you need to just brush that off. Also, I would recommend oil pulling. You can do that in the morning or you can do that in the evening, it's up to you. I usually do it at night when I have more time. You can use sesame seed oil or coconut oil, these two are quite good. Make sure you get like a virgin oil and it's cold pressed. Have like a little teaspoon, put that in your mouth and then swish for about five minutes or so, maybe less, and then just spit that out. And then drink water. Drink at least a glass of water. Now it can be warm, can be cold, can be with lemon, it's up to you. But it's a good way to start your day. And then move on to breakfast. Now I recommend fruit for breakfast. Now I know that's not easy if you're working 9 to 5, but for the first month you can have like a vegan breakfast. So let's say oats. I've got a really good raw cereal. It's amazing. You can buy it at Waitrose and I'm sure you can buy it other places as well. Or any kind of raw cereal. And then just add some kind of almond milk or whatever kind of alternative milks you like. If you want to stick to the fruit thing, what you can also do is make a big smoothie and take that to work with you. That can sustain you for quite a while and I will give you smoothie recipes. You can actually have a snack in between like a raw bar or something like that, like a nut bar. Or you can have, I usually have this coconut, it's like a coconut cream and then you put fruit in it, it's so delicious. Hello! Okay, let's continue. We have a new background and a new scarf, yay! I want to talk about the diet and what it actually entails because you're probably wondering what you can eat. Now, as I said before, every month is going to be different. But yeah, let me just go over exactly what the first month entails. It's going to be vegan and whole foods. Like for instance, instead of going for the white bread, go for the brown bread, the whole grain. And also with pasta, the whole grain pasta, brown rice, wild rice, that kind of thing. The healthier option conventional healthy option. Even brown sugar I wouldn't really recommend. But at the beginning I think it's okay. I mean as you'll see from the videos my diet is going to be a little bit cleaner than what I'm presenting to you just now. I'm just trying to give you something more relaxed if you're coming from a standard diet where it's like takeaways, all this kind of stuff. So yeah this is a nice transition for you. Well and add in herbs. Herbs is a big part of this as well. That's what's going to detox you and strengthen your organs and things like that. Okay talking about processed foods. You can have mock meats. 
if you like, and mock cheeses and things. Uh, I don't support that kind of stuff, but you can have it as a transition, as I said, if you're coming from a meat diet. There's so many alternative meats out there now that taste exactly like meat, it's scary, like really scary. <laughs> And then you've got the, the milks, alternative milks, and then you've got cheeses. There's so many cheeses now made from nuts and all kinds of things. Knock yourself out. <laughs> so you can have fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, dried fruit, leafy greens, sprouted greens, legumes such as alfalfa, peas, soya beans. If you're having soya beans, have them organic if you can. What else? Lentils, beans, and obviously in vegetables, it's, there's so many vegetables. All kinds of potatoes, including sweet potatoes, squash, that kind of stuff. That's a good staple, I use that a lot. Okay, as for drinks, uh, water is amazing. <laughs> People are always adding things to water, but I, I just love drinking water as it is. You can have fresh fruit juices and vegetable juices. You can make like fruit cocktails out of them, obviously not with the alcohol. <laughs> Milkshakes, vegan milkshakes, I'm going to show you how to make really nice vegan milkshakes. Herbal teas, there's amazing herbal teas out there now, like delicious. I remember like a good over 10 years ago, people like would give me herbal teas, it's usually the fruit, fruit herbal teas and they were, oh, I used to hate them and I thought I don't like herbal tea. But nowadays it's like, wow, amazing stuff, like my cupboard is full of herbal teas. You can also make a fresh lemonade. Um, instead of sugar you can put maple syrup. Oh yeah, coconut water is a good one as well. There's coconut water sold in the shops now. Definitely don't consume sodas, fizzy drinks. They're just laced with sugar and especially, oh my goodness, especially the diet, any diet drinks. Just please stay away from them. They've got so many chemicals and they're oh, really bad for your body and your, your brain as well. Yeah, you should do some research on that because it's... Yeah. Also, if you go out to restaurants, there are so many vegan options nowadays. It's easy, even if something's not on the menu, which is rare, that's vegan. You can always ask the chef to make you something special. Um, I've done that quite a few times. You don't have to feel deprived in any way. You can go along to restaurants. Okay, and I'm going to be showing you like lots of uh, vegan foods and things, but there are many, many vegan recipe channels, blogs, and all sorts of things. Yeah, there's a lot out there now, so it's easy just to do a Google search and then so many recipes come up for whatever favorites that you like. Okay then, so let's get started. I will show you my first day. Let's have a look, bye. Okay, this is the ingredients of the smoothie. Two bananas, two apples, an orange, and usually I use spinach, but today I've got chard. This is grape juice I'm having that I made earlier. half a glass of water as well. Mmm, yummy! Oh, organic box just arrived. Majority of stuff comes from their farm. Obviously not bananas. <laughs> but yeah, like most of the stuff is picked from their um, polytunnels and stuff during the winter. Got herbs, leeks, courgettes, what else? Apples, this is spinach, kale, that's onions, what's this? Tomatoes. And then I will go to the shops and get my other stuff. You should shop around at the box services, uh, the organic boxes. I am actually gonna have like two or three bowls this size. Oh yeah, let me tell you what's in it. Cucumber, tomato, lettuce, spinach, mm, what else? Oh yeah, coriander, fresh coriander. That's it. For the dressing, I have used a bit of salt, sea salt, pepper, and lemon juice, fresh lemon, a little bit of olive oil, and a touch of, what's it called? <laughs> what's it called? Oh yeah, apple cider vinegar, and that's it. That's lunch.
Okay, bye. Okay, it's dinner time. This is the courgette and tomato stew. I will link the recipe below for you. Yeah, and this is served with rice, a brown rice. Hello. If you live in the UK, we have these things called naked bars. They have all these varieties. These are raw, very, very simple ingredients. It just says dates, cashews, raisins, and cocoa powder. There's another company. If you live in Edinburgh or surrounding, I'm sure they'll deliver as well. There's a company called Shire Snacks. And they are really good. They are actually more moist than these ones. And they've got really good flavours as well. I can put a link below actually for that. It's an independent company, vegan. You should go support them. Mm. These bars are good for snacking in between breakfast and lunch or lunch and dinner. Or even after dinner as well. They're healthy and it's good instead of having a chocolate bar or something like that. So I usually like having it with tea. Some herbal tea. Or you can make your own as well, but... Okay, yeah, so give them a goo. Okay, take care. And again, well done. Bye.